Hi everyone, welcome back to episode number two of this new home series I'm doing here on my channel and first of all, thank you so much for all the lovely comments on episode one just in case you missed it, I showed kind of a tour of the apartment unfinished <laughs> we're about halfway there but I showed you around the layout and all the different corners oh my god, I just noticed that picture has fallen down Great, great, great job for Tommy when he comes home. Um, I use those sticky things, you know those, um, what are they called, Com compact or there's some name for them and usually they're pretty good but that white hello picture is actually quite um, heavy so that is why that has fallen down. Um, I haven't nailed them on yet because as you know from the first video I, I'm not sure if they're going to stay there and I was actually really surprised to see that the, the comments were mixed about the gallery wall. Some of you agreed with me and you don't love it but then some of you really liked it so I don't know we'll have a think about it and we'll see what we can do but anyway back to Back to what I was saying, um, basically thank you for all your comments, you've sent in so many good recommendations, um, I even had one follower send me a PDF of like basically like items that she found online that she thought would work, which was so nice and like so unnecessary, um, but really really appreciate it and it's really interesting to see like from someone else's eye, like even all your ideas that you're saying and stuff, it is really interesting and I read every single comment, um, I try to get back to everyone and I, I will eventually get back to everyone, um, but definitely know that I read everything and I love seeing what you have to say. So that was the first video, that's done. And now today is going to be kind of an update basically. So I don't have any new furniture pieces to show you, but I do have some small like little bits and pieces to show you. And then I have also been doing lots and lots and lots of like online shopping and online researching and basically just going on to all my favorite online shops like for interiors and decor and gathering all the options that I think could work and I'll show you now in a minute but what I've done basically for the living room which we're focusing on today's video I kind of want to I kind of want to do it room by room so as you saw from the first video the living room is the one that just needs the most work and because it's the room that we do spend a lot of time in I kind of want to get the ball rolling quickly um so that's the one I've been knuckling down on and I've gone onto my sites and I've gathered all my favorite pieces for the things that we need and I'm going to show you in a minute and um, the things that I'm thinking of and you can let me know your thoughts on it as well because I wasn't joking when I said <laughs> I was going to bring you on every step of the decorating process and show you exactly step by step what's happening and hopefully it might help you if you're decorating because I know I was kind of slow to get into it this time because it is a lot of work and you do have to commit so maybe if you're decorating or if you're going to be moving or you just need to redecorate this might help a little bit so I'll show you that in a minute and um, but first also some big news and um, you might have seen on my Instagram but last week I think it was Wednesday yeah, it was a Wednesday or Thursday, one of the days anyway last week, somebody from the New York Times magazine and online came to the apartment and shot it for a feature that they're doing. Like so crazy. Um, I told them, I stressed that the apartment wasn't finished, so we kind of just focus on a few areas. So we shot here in the couch with the New York picture in the back. We shot in the bedroom in front of the shoe wall, which is pretty to shoot in front. Thank God I had that area done. And then a few bits near the rail that's in the bedroom and we did a little bit in the kitchen. So that's gonna be in their newspaper. I think I said magazine a minute ago, I meant newspaper. So I'll be sure to share that when that goes live. That's the big news, it was very exciting here. Um, but anyway, okay, let me turn my camera around now and basically show you what I've been shopping, what I've been finding, and this should give you like kind of an idea of the style I'm gonna be, I'll turn this way, the light's better, um, the style that I'm looking for and like the kind of pieces I'm looking for. Uh, I know I showed you some inspiration pictures kind of in the last video, but I think when you actually see all the things now, you'll really get a feel for it and you'll know the style of room that I'm aiming for. So let me turn the camera around and, oh, there's some really nice bits in here. 
Okay, so Kaylin, the saint, made me this fancy Canva document. So I have all the different sections. There's six sections that I've been looking for, like six items. And these are the different options of that item. So first is the accent chair, because as you know, just to show you again and remind you, we have the couch, but I think that a little accent chair wouldn't go astray here. Um, I was even kind of thinking at the front too, I'll see when it arrives, and I was thinking either one or two, but maybe just one to start off with and I'll see how I'm going. So these are some of the options that I have found. And as you can see, I'm either gonna go with like a creamy, off-white kind of vibe, either black accent or gold accents. How cute is this one? I don't know if it's like a little bit too extra, but it could be kind of cool. Or I also have like a plain black option, which could work because we're, we're going to be doing a very like neutral black rug in white or like off white. So maybe the black could work nice as well. And then I did put this in. Kellen was like, this isn't really like going with the rest of them. And she's kind of right, but I'm loving the like wood vibe with all white at the moment as well and I don't know I think it's kind of a little bit outnumbered so we'll see but I, I love that style right now as well so these are the current options comment below and let me know which one is like standing out to you and then moving on very fancy so yeah next is the media unit as they call it here in the US I think it's just like a TV stand they say in Ireland but in the US they say media unit and I don't even know if I love any of these. This is actually the one thing that's really like bugging me trying to find it because they're all so blocky and boring and I don't know, none of them are standing out to me, but I did kind of like the idea of this and I don't know if this is like gonna work or not, but at least I could decorate these little areas and keep it very chic and then literally just have the TV on top and it doesn't feel like boring to me if that makes sense like i do like these ones too but i don't know are they just a little bit bulky or something and then i like this too mm, but i don't know if it's gonna be like have enough character for the room and then kellen did not like this one i don't think so i think that's one i think that one's gonna work but anyway there are the options let me know what you think about this one and if i could maybe make it work the next is the coffee table and I have to say I found some really good options for the coffee table. These ones are not your typical, it's like a set of two and because, let me, I'm sorry if I'm giving you, making you dizzy but just to show you, like this will obviously be more in so whatever we get here for the TV will be very much up against the wall and hopefully won't take up that much space. So. We, we have a good bit of space to work with, but I am slightly worried that if we get a coffee table that's too big, it's gonna just like drown the room. So to bring you back to the document, um, so I was thinking that you can't even see these very well now, but these are like a set of two and it's black, like marbly, and then there's a gold part in the middle. So I thought they could be like kind of different and cool to have together as a coffee table. And then other options, we have black marble, which I'm very into as you can see, and the gold legs, which mm, I like them don't love them but it's an option and then this guys i have to tell you about this so i have been dreaming about getting just a plain black marble table in black for so long and i have searched like high and low here in the us for them they're so expensive i'm talking like thousands of dollars and i found this one on a european website <laughs> that does not ship to the us i actually nearly cried um and it's only like 300 euro or something like that so i'm gonna keep looking in the us and see if i can find one but if any of you know where i can get something like this that's not thousands of dollars let me know because i love it then moving on to side tables so one more switch around so i'm gonna do side tables on both ends of the couch and get rid of this lamp in the corner it's just too bulky it's not working so i'm looking just for something really simple and these are two options that i found um 
I think one is from West Elm, one is from Wayfair, I'm pretty sure, and I actually think that the prices are pretty similar. So there are options. I probably will keep looking, but good options if I don't see anything else. And then for on top of them, I want to get two matching lamps, and these are some of the ones that I found. And for the life of me now, I can't remember where exactly everything's from, but I thought these were good options. Like, I, I really like this one. It's nice and simple, and I like the black. This could also be really cool. Um, I saw a really nice inspiration picture, which I'll pop on to the screen now, and it'll kind of give you the idea I was thinking for this. This is also cool. It's like a tassel. This is like soft tassel-y. And then the top one I just thought was very chic too. So let me know what you think of those and if you have a favorite. And then I think this is the last section. Yeah, page six of six. These are some rugs. So. These are actually all from a brand called Orion Rugs and they reached out to me a while back kind of when I wasn't looking um, but we I think we're going to collaborate so basically they're going to like send me a rug and I'm going to like photograph it for them and um, create some content for them basically that they can use on their channel so these are some of the ones that I found and they actually have the exact type of rugs that I'm looking for just something really plain and I don't even know if you can see this very well now on the screen but very plain they're they're actually different <laughs> they do look kind of similar here but this is kind of print on the right um the middle is more i think it's kind of chevrony and then this one on the left is just plain so there are some options for rugs so i hope you could see that um that's just one way i figured i could show you what i was like shopping and how i go through the process basically um let me know in the comments if you liked seeing it like that if you didn't i won't do it again if you did i'll continue to do it that way or i'll even try and figure out a more interactive way of doing it maybe i can like pop the pdf actually on the screen and just do kind of a voiceover over it maybe that you'll be able to see it better then but let me know we're still in the learning process of this series we're still on episode two so i can definitely switch and change how i do things just keep me updated let me know in the comments what you think if anything really stood out to you and then i guess we'll get ordering i'll i'll wait until after this video goes live which is tomorrow and i'll see what you think and i'm going to show that to tommy now this evening as well and also ask Kaylin what her favorites are and maybe send it to my mom <laughs> if you're watching mom let me know what you think and yeah I'll just make decisions then and get ordering and at least then this room will come together hopefully very quickly okay so now that I've shown you that side of it I want to show you what I got yesterday in TJ Maxx um, it's TJ Maxx here in the US and TK Maxx I know in Ireland the UK it's so confusing I do not know why it's different. <laughs> While I had some spare time yesterday, I figured I'd go up because I was searching for a new blanket for the couch. Um, because even though the rest of the room hasn't come together, we obviously use our couch all the time and I'm petrified of it being dirty. And like, you know, we, we're always sitting on here. I have my coffee, everything. So we, at the moment, we have this like big gray blanket, but it just doesn't go. We had it from the last apartment and it's just driving me insane when I see it. So I went and got a new blanket and this is the exact color I was looking for. And I actually had looked in TK Maxx on a couple of occasions to see if I could find something like this and I could not get it, but I finally did. So this is what I picked up. Oh, I don't think it's even like coming out properly on the camera. It's coming out a bit brighter than what it is, but it's this really nice, like deep kind of camel, caramelly brown color, if that makes sense. Um, but I think it's gonna really complement the couch nicely. And I was looking for like a huge blanket basically that will cover the whole couch when we're lying down and make sure that it stays <laughs> white for as long as possible. And this was such good value. It was 16 99 only and the make is Berkshire Home, Berkshire Blanket and Home and it's the Opulence Supreme Premium Loft Throw and oh you wish you could feel it, it is so so soft and then while we were there I also picked up things that were on my list for about four months now new frames for my pictures um i'll show you after but i have like lots of pictures of my family and me and tommy and everyone on the windowsill but some of the frames they're just like too big for the pictures so i finally found ones that i liked in like a really chic kind of simple gold so this is four by six um and i love this i love when there's like 
a clear border and then I got another one basically same but the other way this style and again love that there's like this area in the middle I just think it's really uh, just simple but chic and then this was $6.99 and this one was $7.99 so then last but not least I never go to TJ Maxx without getting a new candle like please tell me I'm not the only person I cannot go in there and leave without a candle because a they're the best value candles to be got anywhere and they just have a really nice selection like I always try and find a new one when I'm there and we were kind of rushing actually so Tommy was with me and I was running around trying to see the blanket so I was like just pick one that smells nice and is not like a crazy bright color and he picked this one which is actually it's actually really really nice it's like not too strong but like still nice and kind of sweet it's lavender and sea salt really nice actually so I'm gonna burn that straight away I just need some more candles for this area and when we get the new coffee table I want loads of candles everywhere and this is only $6.99 which so good for New York especially and that's everything guys not the longest video um this episode definitely shorter than the last one but I wanted to just give you an update because as I promised every single week I'm going to be giving you an update even if it's only a small one like I really want to bring you along on the decorating process and showing you what I'm getting hopefully give you some ideas along the way and as I said as well keep like keep chatting to me too and let me know your thoughts let me know what you think of all the bits that I found and then this week I'm gonna put in some of those orders so maybe by the next video episode 3 I might have some new pieces to show you and yeah the place will come to life so I'll leave it here for now I'm gonna put all this stuff away make some dinner and um, it's Monday evening so I'm gonna try and make something healthy get back to reality after the weekend and I will see you again in the next video. Just in case you're new here or you don't know, I post new videos usually every Tuesday and every Thursday and then sometimes Sunday. So just in case you're new and you're just getting to know me, that's when you can kind of know to watch out for videos. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to. I know when I checked my subscriber count this morning, I'm really close finally to 70,000 subscribers which is crazy I that's like a crazy amount of people it still kind of baffles me and um, so we're very close to there so if you haven't subscribed already I really appreciate it it would really help my channel and yeah it's always very very supportive be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next video bye